Hi you guys, it's me again. First off, please forgive the noise. Remember, I'm on a working farm, so, well, a small ranchy farm thing. Anyway, we do work. Do work! So, you're going to hear noises from time and again. Alright, so I want to show you guys uh, something you might be able to do for Christmas. This is a great uh, craft project for kids. Uh, I did this for a girls' weekend at the coast because I wanted... Um, a couple of my friends to be more prepared and to also do a little hands-on projects so they could um, understand how to cook if they needed to if the power went out. The base of this is going to be uh, using heat uh, through Sterno. So this is a canned heat product. It burns for just uh, 2.25 hours. You can use it indoors or outdoors but this is just something we made as, as a fireplace but you could cook on it and I'm going to show you how we do that. So first off, I made this super cool bowl out of quick creep. So how did I do that? I went to the dollar store and I got two bowls. I did not use metal bowls, I used plastic bowls. And I think plastic's important because it gives, when you're trying to pop something like this out of a mold, you want something that's gonna give. But So for demonstration purposes, I took 12 cups of quickcrete, put it in a large bowl, and so I just put it in, then mixed it with water, mixed it around until it was like a thick pancake batter, and then I took a smaller bowl and I put it inside. So you can see how those nest together, and then that created something like this, right? See that? There's the bottom. This is the top. Again, these are not exact sizes. This is just for demonstration purposes. And Quickrete sets up really quickly. I mean, right? It's Quickrete. So in, um, I let it sit for 24 hours because I knew I was going to be making a fire in here and I had to transport it to the, the girls' weekend. So um, I left it for 24 hours. But you can really unmold this in a matter of hours. So mixed it in the, the big outer bowl. Um, the inner bowl before I put it in, I just did a thin coat of oil. You can use any oil that you want on the outside of it, um, like a olive oil, corn oil, coconut oil, whatever, and put it inside. And then after about um, five, six hours, I pulled the inside out, then left this to cure for 24 hours. To get it out, I had to turn it upside down, and this just fell out. So super easy, right? So I took these to the girls' weekend. And then what I had the ladies do is, well, you can see it's not perfect either, right? But that's part of the beauty of it. It's handmade. So this side's thinner, this side's thicker. But again, it's going to be like a little fireplace. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So what we did is we sanded these down with sanding blocks so the edges weren't hard. And with Quickcrete, it's really easy to change it up. Um, my friends are very arty, so they painted the outside and made it all nice and beautiful. So... How does this get used? How do you make a fire out of this? So I gave them this with the sand blocks and the can of Sterno. Plunk. So what I suggested to them is to do is to get rocks and fill in this area with rocks. So let's do that. So since we were at the beach when we did this, the uh, Pacific Ocean, we gathered rocks from around the uh, place we were, the home we were staying in, but also you could use shells or whatnot because this is what's going to be on fire as a sterno. This outside area is not going to be on fire, so we didn't need to worry about that. So my next suggestion to them was to get some kind of screening material. So here's what I have is just a screen. And what I've seen some people do is just to cut this on, so it rests on this, this lip here all the way around. And then what they actually will do would be to put more rocks on top, um, which can be kind of dangerous because if rocks heat up, they can explode unless they're volcanic rocks or you know that they're a high heat rock. I know all rocks come from heat, but some will explode, especially if they're wet. So other people I've um, talked to 
uh, thought, well, what about doing those those fireproof glass beads? And so the fire comes up through it, which is a very cool idea if you're using this for a decorative piece. So go ahead, knock yourself out if you want to do that. So that's one way to use it. But what I thought is I found one of these old trivet on um, and use this as a holder for a pot or pan. And within the rocks, it fits down pretty easily. And, you know, it's made to hold weight, a lot of weight. It does have these three um, legs, so I need to support those somehow. But it can get hot. It's metal, right? So no problemo. Um, so that's what I've decided to use as our grate. If one wanted to, I suppose one could cook directly on this, like with hamburger or something. Or again, you could have a piece of uh, metal like this fencing. Just make sure that it's not um, galvanized. You don't want to be eating that stuff, that, the chemicals that galvanize it. But in an emergency, you know, you do what you need to. So let's go see if that um, pan is ready. And we'll come out here and, uh, or that pot that we've got in there, and let's see if we can get it up to temperature. Ugh, wonderful. Okay. All right, so we've got the top off. We've got this seated pretty comfortably here. Um, and remember, two cups of water weighs about, well, uh, I don't know, four pounds with the pot and everything. So we need to really make sure this is steady and pretty flat. You know, we can take some adjustment though, so I don't think that's a big deal. All right, so I'm going to go get a timer and uh, well, let's light her up. Funny thing about this stuff is you can't see it burning, but it is, can you hear it though? It's burning. Oh, actually, you can kind of see, I'll take you off your stand, see the, uh, you hear that and see it? All right, so we're on fuego. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well, hit the bird. All right, so let's start. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we're up to, oops, stopwatch, 11.25, and we're just getting to a low steam with just the tiniest of bubbles in the bottom. Now, keeping in mind that sterno isn't exactly a fuel to burn um, or to make things from scratch, it's really to keep things warm that are already warm, but you know, we're cruising along. All right, now we're up to 19 minutes, not quite yet at a boil. Heavy steam, still with small uh, little bubbles at the bottom. All right, so we're coming up on well, almost 30 minutes, and we're still not at a rolling boil. We're still at that little boil. Um, so let's see. Let's see what the temperature is here. Keeping in mind, boiling water is a good way to sterilize water, you can pasteurize it at 180 degrees, um, and this is, I believe, well above 180. And eventually it would probably come to a boil, but we don't want to wait here all day for that. So let's just see what our temp is. So we are, until I pulled it out, we were just above 175, 180. So if we let it go a little longer, it would be good enough to pasteurize water. So while this isn't the best way 
to boil water, purify water. For those of you that uh, like Tyler over at Let's Talk About Prepping, who was talking about how can we get other people into prepping, using this as a craft project for friends, um, you know, it might be kind of a fun thing for people to do. While also keeping an emergency way to cook food in the house. How do you put this out? You just put the top back on again and it will go out and then we have this nice little vessel to keep around. Again, the intent originally was just to have a little um, girls weekend craft thing to do, but again, an outdoor fireplace, if you will. So it's just, you know, an option. Christmas is coming, birthdays happen. I want to get people more involved, make it fun. Anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. One last final thought. Uh, it I made three of these from one bag of quick crate. Rocks were found and the uh, sterno cost for four cans of it, and this is the cheap stuff and only goes for two and a quarter hours each, uh, was about four bucks. So, and I, But I think you can get the stuff at the dollar store too. So let's say a bag of quick crete, six bucks. So, um, and I still have enough to make one more in the quick crete. So let's say we can get four out of a bag. So it's a dollar fifty each plus a dollar, let's say two bucks for the sterno. So it's two fifty, um, or three fifty, and everything else was pretty much uh, no charge because I had the trivet already. So cheap, cheap at the price, cheap to make sure people can have a warm meal if they need to. So there you go. Thanks, you guys. Later. So just showing you what it looks like at night inside the house. Since you can run this in the house, it's just a nice little indoor fireplace. Again, the sterno was made for heating food so it's safe inside and outside as long as it's on a nice solid base. I mean, I wouldn't put this with cardboard around it or anything, but because it is an open flame. Anyway, kind of a neat little project.